The volleyball player is not a soloist, but a member of an orchestra. When the player begins to, whoa, hold on a second. When the player begins to think I'm special, that player is finished. From the book Brazil Volleyball. This seems like part of show's journey, at least, or maybe a journey for a lot of them. Is it a nightmare? Whose nightmare is it? Kagiyama's? Oh, it's about him! The quote was... For him, the king. Yeah. Is that why they lost? That his teammates just stopped playing? That's some deep trauma, some deep volleyball trauma he has there. The beautiful girl. The, the only girl. The only girl that will hang out with volleyball crazed guys. He's not really saying anything bad, like I said last episode. He's just kind of messing around. They're like so easily riled up. That is what happened, isn't it? She's getting under everyone's skin, even the senpai. Episode 4, the view from the summit. We get to see some of the senpai in action too. We've trained for this. Oh, he gets a spike, hell yeah! Thinking a lot there. Yeah, yeah, got a little ahead of yourself. Kind of obvious. There's always going to be high walls. Always. It'll never end. He's going to have to figure this out and adapt. He's got like one tool in his arsenal so far. Just straight smash. Too predictable. By yourself, huh? You're not listening to your nightmare. Damn it, indeed. Yeah, I feel like as good as these freshmen are, there's nothing like actually playing in games over years. All that training adds up, and the experience. Because he's a tyrant? Sarcastic nickname. <laughs> Show believes it because he's so pure-hearted and just loves Kagama. Uh-oh, uh-oh. War flashbacks. That's why. It's your fault that you can't keep up with my amazing tosses. All oh, my teammates are dragging me down, my immense talent. You gotta be real offended to like not play in the final round of a match because your teammates being a dick. Ouch. You got nothing. You got nothing. That's sort of messed up though, no? Like, come on. Alright, yeah, he's being ruthless. He's missing the point of the whole team spirit thing. You can still play through the game. Like, they both can be wrong, you know? Is it just me, or is that really petty to just deliberately not play? But I get it. It's it's symbolic. It's thematic. A little bit of sympathy for Kageyama, I guess. He's not handling it the best. He's not treating them in the kindest of manners, but he's trying to win, and isn't that why they're there? Either way, though, it's super humiliating. Have your own team walk out on you like that. Couldn't they air their grievances later, you know? <laughs> I think we got someone on the team who can spike it when you're ready. When you're ready to retread that ground. Oh, what a key moment to speak up. Yeah, I mean, it feels like Kakaema just needs someone to match his energy while also growing as a person. It's both. Kageyama's teammates are losers, confirmed. <laughs> Former teammates. This reminds me of that meme, I'm six feet. You guys ever see that? <laughs> Alright. There you go. Was, was it out? Was it in or out? He hit it though. Damn, I love this. I'm glad it went in this direction. Got your back. One thing I like about the show is they set things up and then like deliver on them really quickly. I feel like other shows would drag these things out for a long time and it would be like a big deal when the show was able to spike the setup. But each episode sort of does this whole mini arc 
at once. So they're growing really quickly. It's exciting. It's also kind of a, a relief in a weird way that it didn't cast a judgmental light completely on Kageyama. There's areas he needs to grow for sure, but part of it is is beautiful. It's strength and it's strength that his his former teammates couldn't match that show can. So I love that the fact that they complement each other kind of picks up some of that slack. Their vision is good. You know, their drive is admirable. And as they continue to round each other out, they'll fill in the gaps that they have along the way. But their singular focus is really inspiring. They just unlocked a new ability on the tree. I mean, he has a point, like, they are very, very easily pissed off. You need to just tune this out and just play the game. Wait till they unlock the misdirectional spike or the lob spike. He keeps saying this, I wonder what the larger significance of that line will be. It's built into something. He might not be on the court the longest. He might have to make a big sacrifice or something, I don't know. It's something like that. This is a lot of talking for a volleyball game. <laughs> I would love to see this in the Olympics or something like that. They just kind of take a little break to dig into each other's psychologies. What's he got up his sleeve here? Onto Yoshida, the one and only, the legend. Oh, whoops. But I don't know. I feel like Sho could take it. But that's growth for Kagayama. Yeah, that's true. I mean, if you can't do it, you just can't do it. And just like that, 30 minutes pass between sets. <laughs> that's the right kind of pushing a teammate. I mean, he actually did a great job. In a way, being a great example for Kagayama. Whoa! This is a big moment. That's what he wants. It'll be there. He's taking the responsibility for himself. He just got pushed into thinking about his teammates and their abilities. Nice! Damn, that was awesome. That was so quick. He just trusted. He understood the assignment. Do it again. Do it 21 more times or however many points you need to win in volleyball. Ooh, that's such a nice way of phrasing that. I can enhance it. I can enhance his abilities with my toss. They've grown so much in just four episodes. I wonder what it's gonna be like at the end. It's gonna be crazy how tight they are. That transition between their two faces, they're gonna do it again. Once they get it, it's over. Once they can get it consistent. There it is. Nice. <laughs> it's so simple, but so great. And that's how we scored two points. But got so much more in the bargain. This is it. I, this They got it. That's a friendship right there. Are we even rivals anymore? Somehow they made those two two, two points so satisfying. <laughs> it ends up being an, you know, an hour-long match of mostly deep dive psychological dialogue. But man, is that payoff. I love that line from Kagayama that he can help him reach his potential or bring out the best in him. Or I can't remember the wording, but something to that effect. I think in my life with my close friends, there's definitely a link between affinity and respect. A lot of the relationships for which I feel the strongest, I think, are those in which that feeling is mutual. And I've noticed that in those relationships, one of the greatest joys that can come out of my life is feeling like I've contributed to 
their greatness in some way. Like I've helped them get something that they really coveted or valued or, or wanted to be. I think I mentioned this at some point a long time ago, but you know, for all of the things I've tried to do, for all the work I put into my life and all the struggles and all the, the mountains I've personally tried to climb. To this day, one of my happiest accomplishments, proudest accomplishments, is introducing my friend to his wife. And I didn't even do it intentionally. You know, I didn't have any concept of what it would be. So it's not even something I can really take credit for. I just kind of was there. Nevertheless, it just fills me with a lot of joy to think that I did something that made my friend's life better because they have a great marriage and they have a daughter. And there are moments where I helped friends during breakups or helped them write an admissions letter or whatever, whatever it is, seeing results of that that they seem pleased with is one of the, the greatest feelings I've ever experienced and one of the most enduring joys of my life. On that note, I think one of the great things about Sho and Kageyama's relationship so far is that they will bring out the best in each other. And they've already moved so far since the beginning of the show. I thought it was gonna take a lot longer. I thought it was gonna be like a series long rivalry and maybe it will retain some element of that, but it's looking very different now in terms of their appreciation for each other and the way they compliment each other than it did in the beginning. The senpai team captain was right in his analysis and it's happening really quickly. And it's kind of like the sky's the limit because this is just the beginning. They're just first year students who have just met. It's their first game together. Who knows? You know, who knows where it could go? It's really cool.